Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the selective color effect in Lightroom. So the selective color effect is basically displaying one color in the whole entire image, leaving the rest of the image black and white so that your eye focuses on the images or the, the parts of the image that are in color. And so this is a really fun little effect to do to your photos. Uh, it's kind of a cool little thing to do just to make the uh, viewer focus in on one thing. So it's really easy to do in Adobe Lightroom. So go, let's go and get started. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we have this image here. And the first thing we're going to do, we're not going to do any adjustments over here whatsoever for the, the basic uh, panel. We're going to jump right down to the HSL panel down here. And we're going to make sure the saturation tab is clicked. And we're going to drop all the colors down to negative uh, 100. So every color. And that will turn the whole entire image black and white. So the objects I want to display here and only have color to are the taxis, the yellow taxis right in front. And so the taxis are mainly made up of orange and yellow. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to bump up the yellows and see what I get. And so I do get some of the taxis, but I also get the buildings back here. Not a problem. But now I'm going to bump up the oranges. And you can see I get the full taxi color back and I'm, and I'm ready to go. And so now, since I need to get rid of the, uh, the, the colors in the background and a little bit right here, this is where my adjustment brush comes in. I'm going to click on the adjustment brush and make sure my color is set to white. And then make sure my saturation is all the way down. Uh, another thing you can do just to help with this is to show the selected mask overlay. And all you're going to do is paint over the areas that have color remaining. So I'm just going to loosely paint over all the areas here. You could do this from the start and not worry about doing the HSL panel, but I find it a whole lot more easier and a little bit more forgiving if you do the HSL panel first and then paint over. So I'm almost done here just painting over the background. So right there, you can see I kind of messed up a little bit. I'm going to hold the alter option key and it's going to turn my brush to minus. That way I can paint that out. All right, just do a little bit more here. And there we go. Now I can take off my overlay. And now you can see that the only thing that are that is in color are the two taxis right in front. Everything else is black and white. Now I can click off the adjustment brush and now I can go back to my basic panel and start doing more adjustments. I can take the clarity up a little bit. I can even take the vibrance up and allow the taxis to be a little bit more colorful. Uh, I can take the exposure up and just do kind of like a basic edit here, uh, what you would normally do. So right around there. Now I like the way that looks. Everything else is, or everything's in black and white except for the taxis. And that's as quick and easy as it is to do the uh, selective color effect in Adobe Lightroom. All right. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more uh, Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.